Stroboscopic pictures of a vibrating string. A vibrating string 50 cm long is under attention of 1 newton. The results from 5 successive stroboscopic pictures are shown in the figure. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And we notice that we have 1.5 cm amplitude. Uh, the strobe rate is set at 5,000 flashes per minute and observations reveal that the maximum displacement occurred at flashes 1 and 5 with no other maxima in between. So these are the maxima. Part A. Find the period, frequency and wavelength for the traveling waves on this string. Part B. In what normal mode or harmonic is the string vibrating? Part C. What is the speed of the traveling waves on this uh, string? Part D. How fast is point P moving when the string is in position 1 and in position 3? So where is point P here? Position 1 and position 3. And part E. What is the mass of this string? Okay, so we're given the length of the string L is equal to 0 0.50 meters and it's under a tension of 1 newtons. So let's start with part A. So uh, if I go between the first flash and the fifth flash, uh, you can see that I go from one maximum to one minimum. So if I go from one maximum to one minimum, that means half a period. So I have to go from a maximum to a maximum to get the full period. So therefore, I can say that half a period, half a period is the time interval between the first flash and the fifth flash. So what is the time interval delta t? So we have 5000 flashes per minute. So we have a 60 seconds divided by 5,000 uh, flashes. So we have 3 divided by 25 seconds between flashes. All right. So uh, how many time intervals do we have between the first and the fifth flash? That's four time intervals. So the period will be 8 time intervals. So 8 times delta t, because we have 4 delta t's between 1st and 5th flash, it will be 24 divided by... So this is uh, 250. 24 divided by 250 seconds. So we can calculate the period here to be 0 0.096 seconds. All right, so what is the frequency? So part A was asking me the period, frequency and wavelength. The frequency is one over the period. So it's one over the period. So that will be 10.4 Hertz, 1 over 0 0.096. And what is the wavelength? Now I can see that I have uh, in this picture a node, node, anti-node, node, anti-node, anti -node, node. So that's a full wavelength. Uh, therefore, I can see that the length of the string 
L is equal to one full wavelength because I have node, anti-node, node, anti-node, node, anti node, node. That's one full wavelength. Therefore, the wavelength of this uh, standing wave is 0 0.5 meters. So it's equal to the length. Now let's move on to part B. Part B is uh, what normal mode is this? So we have a fixed boundary condition here. You can see that the endpoints should be nodes. So the fundamental mode, we will uh, note as node, anti-node, node. And it's the second harmonic that is node, anti-node, node, anti-node, node. Anti -node, node. Uh, and it's also known as the first overtone. Okay, so this corresponds to the second harmonic, which is node, anti-node, node, anti-node, node. Uh, so that, that's the situation for the fixed uh, boundary conditions which basically comes from the fact that uh, the wavelength lambda n is equal to uh, 2L divided by n. So when n is equal to 2, uh, indeed the wavelength is equal to lambda and the corresponding frequency uh, Fn is equal to n times F1 where n is an integer. So we have the second harmonic uh, existing for this case. Now part C is the propagation speed of this wave. Uh, v is equal to lambda times f. So lambda is 0 0.5 meters, frequency is 10.4. So we see that v is equal to 5.2 meters per second. So this is a standing wave, it's not propagating, but if it were propagating, this would be the speed of propagation. Okay, so part D is asking me in position one, uh, the first flash, what is the transverse uh, velocity? How fast is point P moving in position 1? Well, what is position 1? But this position 1 is the maximum point. So we have uh, the string element performing simple harmonic motion here. Therefore, momentarily, its speed is 0 meters per second at position 1. And its acceleration is the transverse acceleration is the maximum value, which is angular frequency times the amplitude A. So the answer for part I is uh, 0 meters per second. Now if we go to position uh, 3, uh, in position 3 we have the transverse speed equal to its maximum value, so that's position 3 here. So this is going to accelerate until it reaches this position and then uh, it's going to uh, decelerate and it will have a final uh, transverse speed, zero here. Uh, so, so we will have the maximum speed occurring at this point. So uh, we will have Vy is equal to Vy max because this is simple harmonic motion, it's omega times the amplitude, that's 2 pi f times the amplitude. The amplitude of the waves is 1.5 centimeters, that's from the figure. You can see here the amplitude is given as 1.5 centimeter. So uh, we can write uh, for the transverse speed Vy, 2 pi times the frequency 10.4 hertz multiplied with 1.5 10 to minus 2 meters. Therefore, we will find that 
the transfer speed will be 0 0.98 uh, 0 0.98 meters per second in position 3 okay so part E part E is asking us what is the mass of the string well the propagation speed of a traveling wave is square root tension divided by mass per unit length and the mass per unit length is then the tension divided by propagation speed squared. So this is m divided by l for a uniform mass distribution. Therefore, the mass of the string can be calculated as l times t length times the tension divided by propagation speed squared. So uh, this is what we need to calculate here. Uh, so the mass will become, the length was 0 0.5 meters, the tension is 1 newtons, the propagation speed from part C is 5.2 meters per second. So this gives us 0 0.0185 kilograms, or we can say the mass is equal to 18.5 grams. So this would be our final answer for the mass of the string. Okay, so let's summarize. We have stroboscopic pictures of a vibrating string uh, between positions one, uh, flashes one and five. The strobe rate is 5,000 flashes per minute. So we have one minute, which is 60 seconds divided by 5,000, the time interval between flashes. The maxima occur at one and five. So we want to know period, frequency and wavelength for the traveling waves on this uh, string. Uh, its vibrating uh, string is 50 centimeters long and uh, 1 newtons. Now, uh, half a period is the time interval between first and fifth flash. So uh, the period will be 8 times uh, the time interval between flashes. So that is 0 0.096 seconds. Frequency is 1 over the period. And the wavelength is, because this is node, anti-node, node, anti-node, node, anti lambda over 2, lambda over 2, full wavelength is equal to L, so 0 0.5 meters. Part B, in what normal mode? Uh, the fundamental mode for two uh, fixed ends is node anti node node. The second harmonic is node anti node node anti node node. So that's what we see here. That's the first overtone or the second harmonic. The wavelengths are given by 2L over N, where N is an integer, 1, 2, 3. In fact, for the second harmonic, we see that it is equal to L, as we have found out in part A. Part C is asking the speed of traveling waves on the string. So the traveling waves uh, speed is lambda times the frequency. So lambda is 0 0.5, frequency is 10.4, that's 5.2 meters per second. What is the uh, speed of point P when it is in position 1 and position 3. Position 1 is the maximum point, therefore the transverse speed is 0. Position 3 is the equilibrium point, therefore the speed is maximum, which is omega times A or 2 pi F times A. Amplitude of the oscillations is given as 1.5 centimeters. We have calculated the frequency to be 10.4 hertz, so we can find the transverse speed. And in part E, we would like to know the mass of the string we know the propagation speed for sinusoidal waves on a string is square root tension divided by mass per unit length where the mass per unit length is mass divided by length for uniform mass distribution this is equal to uh, t over v squared so lt over uh, v squared is the mass if we substitute 0 0.5 meters and 1 newtons for tension and 5.2 the answer from part c for v we find 18.5 